Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the tutorials on Python for Bioinformatics. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can count the number of sequences in a FASTA file using Python. So to help us do this, we are going to use this Python package here called BioPython. So for this package, we will use the SeqIO model to do this. The link to this page is in the description box. Here you can find lots of tutorials and codes and example codes to help you access fast A files. But you don't have to install them locally because we are going to do everything using the Google platform. So the only requirements you need for this tutorial is an internet browser. Okay, so let's go back. So we will first go to NCBI database and then download some example sequences here. So uh, we are using the Nucleotide database. So I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So just use that and then you also be here. And make sure you have Nucleotide written here at this side here. If you don't see Nucleotide, just come here and then select from this list the Nucleotide database. So let's search. I'll just search here for this term here, BRC, BRCA gene. I'll just click on search and then just search. So we are going to have some heads coming up here. I'll just select a few of them. Let me just select 10, that's fine. You can select five, six, forever. it's fine. So the reason why we are doing this manually is to just know what we are expecting at the end of the day, because for me, I'm selecting 10 the result I get should be 10. Okay, the number I get should be 10 when we do the counts using Python. So here you see that selected, there's 10 here because I have selected 10 sequences. You can also select 10, five for any number of your choice. Once you are done, just come to this side, follow my cursor. There is a button called send to. So click on this small arrow beside it. And then you have this complete record checked. Make sure it is checked. Come to choose destination, select file. When you come down in the format, select fast A. And then click on create file. We are creating the file. So I'll click and then save it on my desktop. Anywhere is fine. Just put it in any appropriate please okay so that's great so let's go there i save it on my desktop so it should be there yeah there's it and by the way fast a files are text files so you can just open them with any text editor you see them there but you see sometimes you may be dealing with hundreds and thousands of sequences so opening them in a text file and then reading might be problematic Okay, so that's why we are switching to Python so that we can just write some codes to automatically read them. Okay, so let's go back. This time around, because I am assuming that my um, audience are beginners, I will make sure that we skip the part of um, installing tools on your local system. So we are going to use Google Colab to do the rest of the activities. So visit google collab and then here i'll leave the link to this page in the description box as well so with the google collab it allows you to run python codes using the google platforms and so the only requirement is to have a google account and it makes life easier for you you don't have to install uh, python data science and bioinformatics packages so just use this and your life will be made very easy so when you use google collab for the first time um, on that particular browser page or tab, you have this popping up. So just click any empty side, any side of it, and you have this appearing. Now let's go to file. Let's create a new notebook. And then we wait whilst it loads. So after it has loaded, let's wait whilst it finishes loading. After it has loaded successfully you will have this appearing now i have made a separate video tutorial that shows you um, how to explore this google Colab platform so if you want to get more details on the usage just watch that video the link is in the description box so 
This is the Google Colab. So the first thing we are going to do is to install the BioPython package. Okay, that's what we are going to then use. So we just have to install it. So you say pip install BioPython and then just run it by using this button here. So we we'll just wait whilst BioPython is being installed for us. So let's wait. Okay, so the BioPython package has been installed successfully for us. And once that is done, you'll see this text being displayed for you. So we have the packages we need. Now let's move on to the next. Let's click on this just to clear this text. So now let's get a new code by clicking this here and because we are using an online platform we need to also feed it or supply it with the data we downloaded that is this fast a file and so what we are going to do is to use another library here to help us upload the data and so we are going to use this code here to do it so we say from google.colab import files after that on the next line you see upload equals files.upload this one here so here we are just trying to upload a file so we just run this code here so when this is successful, you will see this here. Browse here. So this is where we use to upload the file. So just click on browse and then go to sequence.fastA. Locate where you saved it and then just upload it. And please know that I also have a separate tutorial that shows you how to upload files to the color. So you can just watch that for full explanation of some of these things. Okay, so the file has been uploaded for us successfully, and that is why we see 100% done here. So the next thing we are going to do is to import the SeqIO model. This will help us to read the first A file. So the SeqIO model is part of the BioPython package. So let's add a new code, and we say from bio import SeqIO. Let's run this code. It's successful, and that is why we see this green tick here. The next thing to do is to read the first A file. So we say handle equals open sequence.fastA. Let's add the mode which is RT. The next line we say seek OBJ because cio.pass we say handle and we give what the format which is first a cobj here is sequence objects the next line we now say sequences equals we give our square brackets we are using less comprehension so i'll say seek for seek in seek obj so this will let's correct it here obj so this will just iterate and then get all the sequences here into this list for us so that is what we need so now let's run this commands okay so now it has been done for us so now we have the sequences here now, because we are counting how many sequences, we will just issue this command. This is a command for list. What we have here is a list objects. So we say len sequences. Let's run this. So this will give us 10. Okay. Notice when I was downloading the sequences, I selected 10 of them and downloaded. And that is what has been shown here for us. So the sequences are all here. Now, aside counting the number of sequences, you can do some 
other um, exploratory activities as well. So I'll just show you a few of them here and then I will just bring the tutorial to an end. So let's just look at one of the sequences. So let's say sequences zero dot name. Just given the name. Now, let me also say that I have covered a separate tutorial on how to read fast A files. So this tutorial is available. Okay, so I will leave it after this tutorial and so that you can just read about how to explore fast A files. But for this tutorial, our focus was to just get a number of sequences. So that is how we do it to get a number of sequences in a fast A file. Okay, so that's how we do it. So I'll be doing more of these tutorials and I'll also um, update you once all of these things are available. So let me also get your comments and we can have some discussions going on. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.